Hey guys, it's Ness here at Cake Style and I am finally back to normal and back to giving you some awesome tutorials on how to make cakes. Sorry that I've been absent for quite a while um, and I've been doing a lot of sort of short top down videos. Um, for anybody who doesn't know, I was in a car accident and um, yeah, it's kind of taken its toll on me and it's been difficult to try to get everything done. Um, so I, I thank you for your patience. I thank you for all the sweet messages that you left. Um, but right now it's time to get ready to make a gorgeous mermaid tail, just like Ariel. I went ahead and made some of my sweet buttercream. I've got it in a beautiful shade of purple for the filling. And then I'm making a deep shade of green using forest green and some leaf green to be able to create that real Ariel shade. I've also baked five cakes ranging from a four inch to an eight inch and I baked them using my vanilla cupcake recipe. I'll add all the details in the description box below for you on how to create that as well as all the colors that I used and all the other materials. And I've tinted my batter in a beautiful shade of aqua just to make this cake a little more fun. So I'm stacking up the three smallest tiers together on one cake plate that's just a little bit smaller. Adding in that gorgeous purple frosting. And then I'm gonna to stack together the two largest tiers. And the reason why I'm doing this is because stacking up five cakes that are this high means that it's too much weight and pressure on the bottom cake. So you wanna go ahead and add dowels to this. I'm using wooden dowels, I'm measuring them up and then just trimming them up with conduit cutters that I got from the hardware store. You can also use plastic dowels or thick plastic straws. Anything that will help to maintain the structure and integrity of the cake. I've gone ahead and chilled this for 15 minutes and now it's time to start carving away. Now I want to make sure that this doesn't look perfect. I don't want it to be sort of like a doll cake or something like that where all sides are equal. I really want to carve into this and make lots of shapes so that the tail looks like it's bending and twisting. Now I want to go ahead and apply a crumb coat to this. This is a great time if you've carved away a little bit too much or you don't like the shape. You can always fill it in with a little bit of extra frosting, but there is gonna be way more frosting being added to this cake. Don't worry about that. While that's off chilling, I wanna get started on the tail fin. I've made up some modeling chocolate in an aqua shade and the recipe link for that is in the description box below. And I'm gonna roll that out and then place it on some parchment paper. And the reason why I do this is so that I can easily move it into the fridge when it needs to chill. But first I want to carve out the shape. So I'm just using an X-Acto knife. I just freehanded this, but if you're worried about getting the perfect shape, do a Google search and look up mermaid tail and it'll give you some ideas for the different angles and positions that you could do. I'm popping in two bamboo skewers into the fin so that I can pop this into the cake. And then I'm taking a boning tool and just creating some details on this fin. If you don't have a boning tool, it's one of the most useful tools um, for cake decorating and I use it an awful lot, but you can also use a toothpick as well. Now I'm gonna pop this into the fridge for five minutes. I flipped it halfway through just to make sure that it chilled on both sides, but you don't wanna leave it in there too long because otherwise it will collect condensation when it comes back out. Pop that straight into the top of the cake. And then I've grabbed a piping bag and a Wilton 125 piping tip. It's a large petal tip. I use it a lot in my cakes. And basically it's the same as the petal wedding cake that I did um, about a couple of, probably a couple of months ago now. It's a really nice easy movement, rocking back and forth and just sort of looping around. I'm a lefty, so I'm moving to the left. If you're right-handed, you wanna to move to the right. And the thing that I really love about this is that it does look like fish scales. It looks like a mermaid tail but it's buttercream frosting and I know lots of you love the taste of that as opposed to fondant. I know that we do and you guys have been requesting to see a lot more sculpted cakes done with buttercream just to see what you can create. So I hope that you guys really like this one. I think it turned out gorgeous. Thank you again so much for all of your support and your wonderful comments and I'm so excited to be back showing you how to make more cool cakes. Remember to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I hope you have an awesome week guys. And thanks for watching.